So we're off to look for platypus, or platypusing as I call it. And platypus are often considered the most unusual mammal in the world. They are a mammal, they do have a layer of fur, and they do feed their young milk. However, they're one of the few mammals that actually lays eggs, along with the, the echidnas. There's only one type of platypus, and it's only found along the east coast of Australia. It's endemic to that area. And within that region, it only lives in waterways. So the platypus are much more common in the higher lands or the tablelands, in the cooler, smaller creeks, higher up in altitude. And this is particularly important in the tropics because they need to get away from uh, predators like crocodiles that you get in the lowlands or the coastal areas. So I find some creek, creek conditions are better than others and they don't necessarily need to be crystal clear, although that's nice. I do find rivers and creeks a little bit of a muddy look to them they are often more productive and uh, what you want to be looking for or what you want to be settling down on are areas where uh, you're away from the ripple zone away from the rapids and in a nice smooth area so if there is any movement uh, of the animal then it's fairly obvious One of the most important aspects of watching platypus is being fairly quiet, not only in terms of sound, but also in movement. So reducing your movement. It's a good idea if you're on the creek uh, bank, not to do too much in the way of horizontal movements with the arms. This is one of my favourite spots for platypus spotting. It's fairly high up in altitude, 1,000 metres, and uh, it's a little lodge called Possum Valley. And uh, some of the creeks up here are usually pretty productive. So platypus are uh, unusual in the fact that they're an aquatic mammal. In South America there's a um, an aquatic marsupial, but in Australia a marsupial hasn't really filled in that niche. There's two other mammals that have. One is a placental mammal, uh, the water rat, which you often see in these sort of habitats, and uh, the other one of course is monotreme, the platypus. So they're feeding on uh, small uh, invertebrates generally, uh, things like crustaceans, yabbies. And uh, they're finding these animals, not by sight, because they actually close their eyes, but they're actually picking up uh, electromagnetic signals from the animal with a very sensitive bill. So even when photographing, you've got to be fairly, uh, fairly careful and subtle. Uh, the sound of the, uh, the beeping as the uh, camera focuses, and the clicking can often scare the animal away but particularly uh, try and keep the flash off because that can really scare them away. Usually dawn and dusk, the ends of the day, is probably their peak feeding and uh, much of the day they may spend uh, resting in a burrow. They'll squeeze in a little burrow on the bank, squeeze a lot of the, uh, the water out of their fur like a little sponge and um, happily spend the day in there. So platypus are a fairly ancient mammal. That's uh, evident in their, uh, their physiology, the egg laying. But the platypus and the echidnas are the only mammals left over from this ancient group called the monotremes. <laughs> 